Huge at that time, Roman Empire, though, was divided into western and eastern parts, but still did not lose the internal connection. The whole 5th century, the western and eastern capitals were ruled by relatives, and in case one of the thrones was occupied by a man weakly connected with the previous emperors, he always tried to strengthen his ties with the other capital, if not himself, then through the marriage of his children. Constantinople was founded as a new capital 200 years before our events, and since then, many Romans have moved there, certainly not before they had completely lost their connection with Italy. There was always the inevitable rivalry between Rome and Constantinople, due to human nature, but it never degenerated into a denial of a common language, a common country, and in general, a common destiny. The parts of the empire were linked religiously, culturally, and economically. Let the economy, for the reasons we have already discussed, degraded greatly, dragging down culture and politics, but the reasons for Byzantium not fighting in the 470s to intervene in the mess that accompanied the last years of the Western Roman Empire seem obvious, and yet imperial power in Rome fell with complete inaction in the East. To understand what was so important to keep the East busy, consider what was going on in Constantinople during these years. After the unsuccessful war against the Vandals, which in 468 tried to conduct jointly emperors Leo P. R. Masella and Anthemius, the population of the capital was so dissatisfied with the failure of the operation that the commander, brother-in-law of the emperor Basiliscu, had to leave the city and run. The defeat gave rise to many rumors of treachery and conspiracies. People counted the incredible amounts of money that the emperor and his cronies mastered under the pretext of preparing for the war, in vain lost even without a battle. The 68-year-old Leo, who had been nominated by the Aspar family, was chosen by them for a reason. He had no great talents or a broad outlook, relied entirely on a family of Aryan warlords, Goths by birth, and spent most of his energy on satisfying his greed for other people's goods. However, quietly and imperceptibly, the family of the lion all the same took to themselves influence. And most likely the center of intrigue was a cunning and power-hungry wife of the lion, Elia Varina which fate after her husband rose from the simple wives of the military and the emperor. The emperor had two daughters, the only son died in infancy, and although the youngest, Leontia, born in purple, that is already during the reign of Leo engaged to the son of Aspar, the eldest daughter Ariadne was given away for Isaurian, thus finding in the empire a force capable of resisting the barbarians controlling the emperor. Isoria is a mountainous area in the middle of modern-day Turkey. If you have ever vacationed in Antalya, you know that it is a wide valley near the Mediterranean Sea, which from the north in a semicircle girdles the Taurus Mountains. In ancient times this area was called Cilicia and was famous for sea pirates. So to the north behind Taurus there was Isoria, which inhabitants were related to Cilicians and were engaged in robberies and erection of fortresses in their mountains. Their conquest of the Roman Empire was long and languid. By the 5th century, Isaurians have not yet lost the adventurism and cruelty of morals, so that female instinct did not fail Empress Elia, and the husband of her eldest daughter Ariadne became a noble Isaurian Tarasicodissus. Being related to the imperial family, he changed his name in the Greek manner and became known as Zeno. But it was not a philosopher who proved that Achilles cannot catch up with the tortoise but a rude barbarian from the mountains of Asia Minor. Together with him, a delegation of Zeno's relatives arrived in the capital, all as one hot men who became military leaders and officials in opposition to the Aspar clan. In the years when in the West, Ritzimer already openly opposed the emperor, in Constantinople, Aspar's soldiers began clashes with Zeno's clan and forced him to flee the city. Under Aspar's pressure, Leo's daughter Leontius married Artavurus, who was proclaimed Caesar. The fact that an Arian became Caesar raised the people to revolt, which was led by the Patriarch. The Emperor had to beg all parties not to rock the boat, make promises, and calm all sides of the conflicts. Of course, he had no time for Rome. In 471, Aspar and his family were destroyed as a result of a large-scale conspiracy of the Emperor and Zeno. 
By this time, the decrepit emperor already finally disliked people as the increased taxes were not compensated neither by glory nor by calmness. The conflict with monophysites did not subside. Besides, emperor has forbidden all non-religious holidays and has canceled any actions on Sundays. At last, having appointed the co-emperor the minor grandson of Leo II, the emperor has died and Byzantium has finally plunged in quarrels around a throne. The main players were Leo I Michaela's wife Elia Verina, who promoted her lover Patricius to the throne. Leo I, Masella's brother Basilisk. Ferocious, rude, and incredibly greedy for money, like all his relatives. The senior daughter of the lion of the first Michaela Ariadne. Her husband Zeno, which was the pope of six-year-old Lion II and has persuaded that to appoint itself co-emperor. Six months later, his son dies and Zeno became the sole ruler. Rude and illiterate Highlander. The younger daughter of Lion I Machila and her husband. Son of the West Roman Emperor Anthemius by name Marcianus. Despite the fact that she was the youngest, born in purple in the eyes of many residents had more rights to the throne than the eldest daughter, born a simple soldier. An interesting feature of this family squabble was that when someone took the throne, he would start drinking and committing atrocities, while the remaining relatives worked together to prepare a new coup. The battle for the throne, in which temporary alliances were made, armies supported one or the other claimant, besieged cities and sent assassins took four years, and in 477 Emperor Zeno was already put before the fact that Italy is the kingdom of Odoacer. What happened in Italy and whether Zeno will do anything about it, we will learn in the continuation.